Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Sidepod King Carter here, the Superman YouTube. Before we get into Mission 34 with Michael, I want to tell you guys about this Bugatti. Now, after everybody kept telling me, yo, man, you drove past the Bugatti. What is you doing? You should have grabbed it. I went back to the video. I watched the entire video, and I found out where the Bugatti was actually sitting. Now, what I can tell you guys is I'll probably bring up the map, but for the most part, I'm not. Um, if you have already gotten a safe house with uh, Franklin or you know where the safe house is where Michael stays, basically it is the block behind where the barbershop and the clothing store is. So wherever you see a hair cuttery and a shirt symbol, you want to drive a block down. Now, the monument that you're going to see, this is probably the only monument that's dope in this game. It's a big silver or platinum whatever type of horse in the middle of the street you can't miss it all you got to do is ride down this street you're going to see the bugatti you're going to break into it either you're going to break the glass or you're going you know what i'm saying shimmy the the lock and get in and chill now the reason why i'm sitting here and i'm letting my clock roll is because i found out that it's a specific time which is a perfect time where the bugatti is always going to end up being right there so the time is going to be 1830 now if you don't, guys don't know what 1830 is it's 630 in military time now what i'm doing is i'm just parked up you know what i'm saying waiting on the lick um one thing i will say i got how many bugattis now i have five bugattis um i have two for franklin well actually no um i have one for franklin i have two for michael and i have two for trevor now the reason why i have two of everything is because I got the Bugatti the first time, right? And I saved the game. I did a mission, came home, tried to hop in the Bugatti, and it wasn't there. I was like, yo, my Bugatti gone. What the hell is going on? So I've came up with, you know, something that you're really going to need to do when you get this Bugatti. You're going to need to first get the first one. Then you're going to want to drive to whichever player you're using um self garage it's a big little either green orange or blue house with three lines through it on your mini map if you drive to that you put one bugatti in there then you wait again you know what i'm saying to, until 16 30 you get another bugatti then you take it to whichever safe house they're staying at which is you know the white icon with the little circle in it then you put it in the garage you hit quick save on your cell phone and you go into the bedroom and hit save on their bed. You got to do it that way. If you want to make sure that you got a Bugatti on hand, you always want to do it like that. But I broke into it. So nah, <laughs> I'm just fooling with y'all, man. All right, I'm on my way to the crib now. Like I said, Franklin already has one of these in the safe house. I had to drive it all the way down Grove Street. I put it in the garage along with the Infurious or Infernus, whichever, however you say that joint. It looks something like a Lambo. So, you know, I took that there. The Bugatti is safe and sound. You guys can tell that this is my crib, my video, because you know I got the blue charger sitting there. But like I said, if you want to make sure that you always got a Bugatti on deck, you want to take one to your crib, take one to your, your safe house garage, and you want to save on your cell phone, which is, you know, you pull out your cell phone, you hit quick save on the little cloud on Franklin's phone, and then you go into the crib, go in your bed, save the game, make sure you save the game, and then you'll have those Bugattis. But let's hop into the regular video, man. Let's, let's, let's jump over to Michael, man. Come on, let's go. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's our Pod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I got that Rolls Royce, you heard her. She said, my car is great. I got the hose flocking right now. I'm in that Rolls. But uh, I did have a Bugatti that's still in the garage, but I picked this up on the way. So you know how I do. I got to ride fly. But uh, I'm on my way to see Solomon. I think his last name is Richardson, big movie producer guy. Somebody supposed to just get me through the door. Um, the way that this story is playing out, 
I think Solomon is going to give me like millions. And I think this is going to be the way for me to pay for all these properties. Because he's a big shot. He got money. So, you know, let's do this. Also, before we hop into this, uh, I decided to stop talking as much as I do over the cutscenes. So you guys can hear and read. Plus, so I can read and hear so I can know what's going on in the mission. Because in some of my missions, I'm just talking over it, not worrying about it, not listening. And something so simple that I'll miss. And it's because I'm not watching these cutscenes. So, let's go. Hello. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker! <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston, did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. <laughs> it's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies with lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, He's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already. <laughs> All right, so I have a job. I am now an assistant of Solomon, and I guess my first duty is to off somebody. That's cool with me. Anything for this money. I've been noticing in Grand Theft, is it takes a while to get money. A, a, a long while. You know, I've been playing this joint for a minute now, and I feel like I ain't made a dime. I'm doing all these missions pro bono. I'm not getting no money. You know what I'm saying? I'm helping people out on the street getting $40. I'm riding taxis, probably getting 180 I ain't getting no mugger. But shit's about to change. Hey, Solomon. I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped. No, God, no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts, so if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right. I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. Hey, how's it going? All right, so he doesn't want me to kill him, but I did say, okay, boss, see you on set, so that means I have a job. Um, I wonder how much money I'm going to get for this. It better be a mil. Uh, I, I know, I know. But the way this story is going to develop, it seems like Solomon is about to croak or on his way out of the business. 
and he may hand over the reins to Michael. I'm not sure. We'll see. I tried to go around that, thought it was an opening, but okay. But um, so far, man, money matters is, is terrible in this game. You know, and I'm not putting in no cheat and all that to get everything I need. I'm going to just play this game out the way it was meant to be played out. So, uh, oh, and uh, just to let y'all know, just because he said I can't kill him doesn't mean I can't cut his ass. I'm going to gut him. You best to believe I'm going to gut his ass. Gentlemen, how you like this space? It's gonna be an EDM paradise. There's gonna be sparklers stuck in bottles, implants, tramp stamps, all the real shit. That's Pelosi Entertainment. Now give me a minute here, just a minute. I gotta go grab something inside. Gianni, we nearly got the club. We're finally a go. Now you take care of these guys. No cold feet. Okay? Let's go. All right, well... Looks like dude has a bodyguard, but who cares? I'm going to shoot him in the face. Oh, who are these two guys? All right. So I have to go to the helipad, which means I have to go up here on the roof. Oh, there goes somebody. Hold on. Alright, killed him. He's down. Alright. Which one should I take? I guess I'll go to this one since that yellow blip is on the side of this building. Anybody up here? Alright, let me see. Anybody up here? Who that? Oh. Oh, please don't come over here, bro. Please don't. You gonna get knifed. And I ain't talking about Call of Duty. Come on, man. You gonna walk away? Don't make me come out about this uh, damn air vent. I had to slice his fucking throat. Yep. I'm giving to the... Okay. Jesus Christ, it's hot in here. That's gonna be one sweaty-ass club. Ooh, gotcha. Alright. So where do I go now? Whoa, somebody over there. I'm not going that way. I'll go higher up. Oh, door opening. Whoa, buddy. Where the fuck did he come from? Ooh, he's down. All right, where I'm at. Uh huh. I'm here now. Hey, you are. Mr. Richards has been worried mm -hmm. sick. You get lost, wrinkles. He called me wrinkles. Oh, he got to die first. Hey, you. Yo, dude, got to get. These guys are in love with their contract, so they'll be going back to the set with me. Can you believe this fucking clown? No, whoa, this whoa. guy's all mine. <laughs> okay. Come on, come get some. <coughs> come on, come get some. Sit down, you. What's up? <coughs> come get some. Yeah. I ain't so old now, am I? Yeah. <coughs> What's up? Come get some. Hey, I'm embarrassed. You ain't that embarrassed. Come on. Say, say one word. Come on. Damn, how many punches can you take? Be like a drunk boy at the club. Oh, there we go. He's down. All right, spray tan. Spinks has went down. <laughs> and I don't toss you off this roof. All right, yeah. Okay. Roy Jones goes down. Let's All get right. back to the lot. So what I do now? Hold on. Where the other boy he was with? I wanted to shoot him in the face. I don't know 
who you think you are. Look, you can bully him, but you can't bully Talent, buddy. We are not shooting until I get a new deal. Can't bully Talent? Just watch me. You're gonna be a good boy when I'm done. I don't know who you think you are. Jumped up to studio security? I ain't security. I'm Solomon's assistant. Uh-oh. Gotta fly erratically and at high speeds. What yeah. are you trying to prove here? Trying to prove that. It... Whoa! Uh oh. Come on, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Come on. That's right. Nope. We go. I did it. All right. Ooh, landing those planes is crazy. Come on. <laughs> yeah. What a wonderful surprise, Anton, my boy. You're an artist. I know that. And this story is the best kind of art. A simplistic, cliche-ridden pile of dross that you will turn into magic. Get a grip. I love ya. So, Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Ah, uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir. And I, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. Oh, you're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. Wow. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah. Looks like his life is turning around. Okay, Michael. Okay. All right, I didn't get the perfect touchdown. That's cool. And I didn't get the mission time, whatever that was. And look, I did that pro bono again, man. I'm not getting no money. Hey, Mr. Madrazo. How's that rebuild going? Good. I need to see you. Come to La Fuerta Blanca, my ranch off Senora Road, and bring Mr. Clinton. Hey, look. Franklin? I hardly know the kid. I don't want him caught up in this. You'll need another pair of hands. All right, there's another guy. Trevor Phillips. Me and him are partners. Okay. I'll have my people messenger him. 
damn, he just played the shit out of Franklin. Or is he trying to keep him safe? I don't know. That seemed like he was playing the shit out of him. I'm just saying. What the hell? Oh, shit. Reminder to self. Never steal a car from the set. What the hell? Them dudes just start ratching. Ah. All right, guys. I'm going to try to run from the cops. This is IKC signing out. <laughs> Y'all stay up. Peace. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.